Hey there, aspiring property moguls. Welcome back to Property Ask Echo, where we turn property dreams into reality. Today, I'm going to show you how to flip a house right here in South Africa, step by step. If you are serious about boosting your financial future, this could be the most important video you watch this year. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how I transformed a rundown property into a 100,000 rent profit and how you can do it too. So whether you're a first time flipper or just curious about the process, stick around. Trust me, it's easier than you think, but you need to get it right. Let's dive in. Step 1. Finding the right property. The first step in house flipping is like hunting for treasure you are searching for that hidden gem. Here in South Africa, that means keeping your eyes peeled for homes that scream, help me. Think cracked walls, overgrown gardens, and peeling paints. That's your gold mine right there. But don't just rely on what you see. Spread the word within your network. Let your friends, family, or even your papa know you are looking for a fixer upper. Sometimes the best deals are hiding right under your nose. That's how I found my first flip. A friend tipped me off. The house was almost as old as the South African constitution and it needed a full gut renovation. Sound daunting, right? But remember, no guts, no glory. Step two, understanding comparables. Once you found your potential flip, you need to find out how much similar homes in the area are selling for. These are called comparables or comps. Imagine trying to price a car without knowing how much other cars in the same condition are selling for. It's the same thing with houses. Find three homes that have sold in the past year within a kilometer of your property. Let's say you find one at 580,000, another at 620,000 rand, and a third at 600,000. You'd average this out to figure out how much your property could be worth after renovations. This 600,000 rent number is your after repair value, ARV, and it's crucial for determining your next steps. Step 3. Calculating renovation costs. Now, here is where things get real. Renovation costs can make or break your flip, so it's essential to be thorough. If you've never renovated a house before, don't worry, you don't need to be a pro. Just pick up your phone and Google local contractors. Get a few of them to walk through the house and give you a quote. One trick I learned early on, never settle for just one quote. Comparing different contractors' estimates will give you a better idea of what's fair and what's outrageous. For my first flip, I got five quotes before I landed on the right contractor and it made all the difference. We ended up transforming that old shack into a stunner with ash grey walls and slick pastel accents that made it pop like the best dress at Devin July events. Step 4. The simplified 70% rule. Here is a simple formula to keep you out of financial trouble. The 70% rule. This rule helps you figure out how much to offer for the property. It's easy. Take your ARV, multiply it by 0.7 and subtract your renovation costs. That's the maximum you should pay. For example, if your ARV is 600,000 rand and your renovation will cost 70,000 rand, your maximum offer should be 350,000 rand. Remember, the 70% rule is your safety net. Stick to it to ensure you are not overpaying. If you are serious about diving into the property market, why not visit propertyaskecho.com and book my free consultation. Let's chat about how you can make your next big move in the South African property game. Step 5. Sourcing financing. You need money to make money. But here is the kicker. Traditional banks are difficult to deal with as a traffic jam on the N1. So what the alternative? Private money lenders. These are individuals or groups who lend money for property investment, often without the red tape of banks. I found my first lender at a real estate meetup. Yes, those events are worth it. We ended up 
forming a great partnership and before I knew it, I had the funds to close the deal. The best part, no credit checks and no monthly payments until the house sold. Step 6. Renovation and sale. With financing in hand, it's time to roll up your sleeves. Wow, not literally, unless you are the one doing the work. I partnered with a reliable contractor and we transformed the property over six months. Seeing the finished product was like watching a caterpillar turn into a butterfly. It was stunning. We listed it on the market and boom, it was sold within weeks, way above the asking price. The profits, let's just say it was good enough to make anyone want to dive into the next flip. So there you have it a step-by-step -step guide to house flipping in South Africa. It's not just about the money. It's about transforming something old into something new and creating value in the process. If you are ready to get started, hit the like button, leave your questions in the comments, and subscribe for more tips on making your property dreams come true. Until next time, happy flipping.